Hello, this is uh, ICR Tiger from thetradingtigers.com. Today, the 13th of August, 2014, we're going to be looking at the majors on the daily chart with the Elliott Wave analysis. Before we start, please go through the disclaimer, stop and read at your own leisure, as well as the hypothetical performance. Okay, fine. So, let's go to the charts. Here we are on the majors, the most popular pair out there the euro dollar on the daily chart as you can see we're taking our wave count from the high of this um, uh, high here where we can start the larger wave degree pattern at uh, wave 2 of the primary on the high of 7th of May backtracking a bit can backtrack a bit and try to find where that wave 1 is uh, wave 1 is at the low of 23rd of July 2012 um, so you can see basically this is where we're looking for its wave 2 um, breaking that structure down if we want to have a look at that uh, ratio okay so what we're going to do uh, yeah that came up to a, a, a fairly good point at uh, 39.94 um, a significant ratio for that wave 2 to end breaking that structure down we can see the 1, 2 um, of the uh, intermediate that's green and in brackets of the subway and in a wave three its substructure is the minor which is in pink one two and three in completion so this is what we're looking for uh, right now for the wave three to come down a lot more further and I'll be able to give some target levels um, accordingly okay fine so if we go to the alternative um, count here we can see uh, where we're looking is the main alternative count that we've got we can see that we're in a triangular kind of position um, overall um, to make this a lot more smaller and there you can see the wave D I have to take that to the weekly time frame so you can fit it all in there's the zero A B Right, and within there you can see the structures so the E is completed and now the wave 1 if you look exactly where this um, where, where the price is in terms of that triangular formation there's the 1, 2, 3 um, it's just on that support line so we, we put like a potential entry down here at this low if you can see at uh, 133.15 with uh, it has to go short and the invalidation stop level is going to be 4008 okay fine let's move now to the uh, pound dollar as you can see today the pound dollar has dropped quite significantly taking the uh, larger wave count being on a wave 3 the wave 2 of the cycle degree completed on the 3rd of July of this year at the high and uh, um, now we've been following that highs all the way through we can see the substructure of the primary rated in circles one two three and pay attention there at the bottom down here you can see the SSD giving us like a, a long position but this divergence which has been in play for a while has come into fruition as you can see as price has moved further down for us to be more significant about this price to drop further down we need to see this black line to be penetrated and crossed and the price to come down here that's going to give us an ultimate signal um, yes we should be in that short mode um, okay fine now let's go to the um, main account, uh, uh, alternative count um, and as you can see the alternative count is going the other way um, as you can see uh, we're looking for long positions on the alternative count and how far do we have to go we're in a, a wave C um, of the primary and the substructures of the intermediate there's the one there's the two we're in a wave three of an intermediate breaking that structure down to the minor there's one two and also in a wave three look for the minute minute that's been in blue in roman numbers and in circles one two and then we're looking for the wave three could this be a valid two let's have a look at it yeah looking at it you can see as price came down hit hit close to this uh 
beyond the 61.8 it could actually drop down here to the 78.6 level um, and that's probably what's going to happen um, price is going to come down there um, this stop level is non-existent right now and we can take out any potential ideas of taking a long position we'll wait for the 78.6 level and we can put an entry at the 78.6 level um, and that would be great to be able to go long and I'm going to mark that up for you okay so looking at an entry at 1.6620 long the stop level at 63.54 um, first target is uh, 71.97 and second target is 73.49 you got any more space or you got any more gas left we can take it up a little bit further taking up to 78.07 mark that for you traders so that's what we're looking for on that area remember please bear in mind this is the alternative count that we have um, right now for the pound dollar um, but confirmation is necessary and let's just see what happens okay fine so let's go now to the next one is the US Swiss and we'll put it on the daily chart and uh, main large is the one that we want and where we are right now we can see the larger wave structure of the wave 2 um, of the minor um, at the high of um, 21st of January 2014 and we, and we squeeze that down so look where we stand so the larger wave degree um, primary um, wave 2 completed on the 28th of July 2012 that means when a wave 3 off the primary its substructures is the intermediate that's green in brackets there's one there's two and when a wave 3 breaking that structure down further we go into the minor one two and also looking now to be in the wave 3 taking that substructure of the minute blue and Roman numbers and numbers and in a circle there's the one there's the two that is just we could say completed um, and now we're looking for a strong push down to, to complete its wave three so if we're looking for a short position why not take a short on a confirming point at the low around here um, 0 0.88572 that's what we would perhaps look at um, if you want to be more aggressive you can take it at the low of here that's 90.34 I'll mark that for you okay so here we are again traders just want to reconfirm that entry points for the aggressive we're looking at 0 0.9029 that's a short and a stop level at 0 0.9280 um, profit targets you can take it at 86.71 and 83.83 uh, sorry 0 0.8384 um, and for the more conservative approach the entry would be 0 0.8856 stop level 92.80 um, profit targets again 86.71 and 83.84 okay fine now let's go to the alternative count of this alternative count what we're saying we're saying it's the price is going to go up you can see we've got some positions there just to take that off to avoid any confusion to you and what are we looking at here right now so we've taken this price here at um, the low of 13th of March 2014 and one two and away three going up of the intermediate so something very slight and very small but just to give you an idea the price can go up that way that's for the US switch that's not we move to the US um, sorry Aussie uh, US uh, one of our favorite kind of pairs that we're always like trading I'm sticking on the weekly chart for you so you can have a better for an overview of where do we stand in terms of this potential trade um, and that's for nothing traders so we take the wave one of the primary at the high um, I have to move that a little bit sorry for that it just gets a little bit skewed with um, on the high of um, 31st of July 2011 
and then waiting for its wave two to come down. One, and that's two. Um, so the A, B has completed, and we're looking for the strong push down for the wave C. That completes our wave two. So if I move it now to the daily chart, you can see really where we've taken some trades already um, to go short. Took taking our trades at um, three trades. Uh, 9342, 9362, 9362. Um, trades with stop losses 9512. Uh, 40 pips in the money, um, 53 for the other two, and uh, that's around 48 pounds, and the other one is 96 pounds. Um, yeah, because um, basically we got 20 lots, 30 lots, and 30 lots, as you can see, 20 lots, 30 lots, and 30 lots. And we want the first profit target has been achieved, which is the main thing, at the 92.69 level. Now we want the next three targets to be hit, uh, which we've got trades um, for 92.28, 91.62, and 89.56. That would be sweet if we were able to take those trades out. Okay, so like I said to you, when a wave three right now of a... Um, minor as you can see there's the wave two so wave one of the of the um minute that's blue and in roman numbers and the circles there's one there's two we're looking for that wave push down let's have a look at the rate price came up right up to the hundred percent level bounced off if you can notice this black line as as what we use for support and resistance there was that spike these spikes are valid in the EW analysis and rules. Um, so basically what has actually happened, now we're looking for the push down. Could this be the push down that what we're looking for? So we've taken it on the daily. Um, we're expecting our moves to occur anyhow. Um, so that's that. Let's now move to the uh, US CAD. US CAD, we've got our main count here on the daily chart. As you can see, we're taking the structures off uh, the primary that's red and in circles as our high um, at the high of uh, 19th of March 2014. Breaking that structure down, we're in the intermediate of wave one, which hasn't completed its substructures, is the um, minor, which is in pink. There's the wave one. Wave two, as you can see, just short of the 61.8 level. And now we're looking for a push down. That's right, we're looking for a push down. Um, what could we do? We could take a breakout position um, to confirm our trade down. We can take also, uh, that would be an aggressive move at the low of here, 0 0.87, 0 0.878, sorry. And if we want to be a little bit more conservative, we can take it on the low of this wave one. Um, to, to be sure that we've got our wave three position. Okay, fine. So traders, that's uh, me. I'm ICR Tiger from thetradingtigers.com.